Levi Belfield has finally made a formal confession to the hammer murders of mum and daughter Lynn and Megan Russell and revealed chilling details of the killings. For the first time, the monster serving life for the murder of schoolgirl Millie Dowler has told how he killed Lynn and daughter Megan Six and tried to kill Josie Russell Nine in 1996. Their brutal deaths in the picturesque Kent countryside on a sunny day shocked the nation. The document means Michael Stone, convicted of the Russell murders in 1998, could have suffered a miscarriage of justice. In a four-page statement made last month and lodged with a solicitor, Belfield discloses in a matter-of-fact detail how he carried out the murderous attack. He even reveals that he took a hair scrunchie as a macabre souvenir and that he killed the family dog after it bit him. The statement says, quote, I was wearing bright yellow marigold washing up gloves and holding a hammer in my right hand. In my car I had a screwdriver, a lock knife, a hammer, yellow marigold gloves and a very long black boot lace. My first intention was to just attack Lynn, but I quickly changed my mind due to the screams and was worried she would fight back given the children were with her. I approached Lynn and held her right arm tight. She asked me not to harm her children. She was calm. Had she screamed, I would have just attacked her and left not harming the children. The situation just got out of control and the more she complied, it just gave me more confidence. I walked all three of them off the track. I forced Lynn to sit down. The statement goes on to detail how he killed Lynn and Megan and left Josie for dead with appalling injuries. He also states that he killed the family dog, saying, quote, I grabbed the dog by the collar and it bit my wrist. I hit the dog and killed it. There was blood everywhere and all up my legs, arms and shorts. The confession means that Belfield is responsible for at least six murders, making him one of Britain's worst serial killers. The 53-year-old is already serving life for the deaths of Millie, 13, Amelie Delagrange, 22, and 19-year-old Marsha McDonnell. He was also convicted of the attempted murder of Kate Sheedy, 18. As well as admitting killing Josie and Lynn in the 14-paragraph statement, Belfield also admits the murder of a woman called Judith Gold in North London in 1990. He has previously admitted being in the Chillenden area of Kent at the time of Lynn and daughter Megan's killings. But his new statement provides new details and discloses how after the murders, he stopped at services on the M25 in Surrey to wash off blood before going onto his work shift as a nightclub bouncer. He said, quote, On my return, I stopped at Clackett Lane services and cleaned up. I used my t-shirt to clean myself and wipe my shorts. I used bottled water. It was warm, and I drove the rest of the journey with no top on. I didn't look out of place. On his return to his home in Twickenham, southwest London, Belfield says he got changed and went to work. He claims that the following day he threw the hammer he used to carry out the attacks into the Thames near Walton, Surrey. He then fled on holiday to Turkey with his then girlfriend, but returned after just a few days to have the beige Ford Sierra he was driving the day he says he killed the Russells cleaned because it was full of their DNA. He added, quote, it had bloodstains on the seat. Belfield made the 14-paragraph statement to solicitor Paul Bacon, who represents Michael Stone, the man currently serving life after being convicted of the killings. Belfield is now known as Yusuf Rahim after converting to Islam. The confession document will now be sent to Watchdog, the Criminal Cases Review Commission, which has the power to order retrials and is considering an appeal by Stone 61. Stone has always denied responsibility for the killings. He was found guilty of the Russell murders in 1998, but these convictions were later quashed. He was subsequently found guilty at a retrial in 2001. Belfield ends his statement saying, quote, Something like this has never happened to me, in the sense I've committed a crime and another person has been arrested for it. I apologise to Stone and the Russell family for my heinous acts. Belfield was jailed for life in 2008 for the hammer killings of Amelie Delagrange and Marsha McDonnell and the attempted murder of Kate Sheedy in south-west London. Three years later, he was finally convicted of the 2002 murder of Millie Dowler and handed a second life term. Josie Russell was left with horrific brain injuries following the attack. Her condition was so appalling that medics who treated her at the scene initially assumed that she was dead. 
but she survived and had to learn to talk again. She later moved to Wales with her father Sean, a doctor. A bootlace found at the scene and lost by police was rediscovered last year and sent for lab tests. Belfield previously told Powell's he was worried about his DNA being found on a lace. The Russell family did not wish to comment on Belfield's claims. Colin Sutton, however, stated, There is a lot of detail in there that needs to be checked in this new legal statement. I have no doubt that he carried out other attacks, and I would say that with Belfield, anything is possible. But the Criminal Cases Review Commission will not take this at face value, and have good investigators who will seek to corroborate or dismiss this statement. Belfield does describe a repetitive pattern of behaviour, in committing an awful crime, suffering, going on a holiday and getting rid of a vehicle. That is exactly the evidence we relied on in our case. But this could be him playing games. He likes to have the spotlight on himself and is a narcissist. Lynn and Megan Russell and their dog Lucy were killed as they walked home from a swimming gala on July the 9th, 1996. Josie, their nine, survived the attack near Chillenden, Kent. Petty criminal and ex-heroin addict Michael Stone was found guilty of the murders and attempted murder in 1998, despite a lack of forensic evidence. He successfully appealed, but was then found guilty at a second trial in 2001, based partly on a confession he is said to have made in prison. Stone launched another appeal which failed in 2004. The Criminal Cases Review Commission is now examining the case. In 2017, Stone's solicitors identified Belfield as a suspect in the murders and claimed he had made his own prison confession. Levi Belfield was finally convicted of two murders and one attempted murder in 2008. He killed Marsha McDonnell, 19, in Hampton, South West London in 2003, and Amelie Delagrange, 22, in Twickenham in 2004. Kate Sheedy, 18, survived when he ran her over near Isleworth the same year. By then, he had already killed schoolgirl Millie Dowler in 2002, but was not convicted until 2011. Belfield has now confessed to killing Judith Gold, 51 in Hampstead in 1990. He is also suspected of killing Elizabeth Cho, 19 in Ealing in 1999. Other attack victims may include Dawn Brunton, 36 in Hatton Cross, and Jesse Wilson, 17 in South West London, both in 2003. Plus Sarah Sporrell, 23 in Hastings, East Sussex in 2004. Last year, it was reported that police had found a piece of evidence which had been lost for 14 years, that lawyers for Stone believe could be used to clear his name. The item, a long bootlace, was used to tie up one of the victims and was dropped by the killer and later found at the scene by detectives. A small part of the lace was tested for DNA at the time, but with the processes still in their infancy, the tests came back inconclusive. Lawyers for Stone have argued since 2007 for the whole lace to be tested. Police then reportedly said the lace had been tested to the point of destruction in 1998. According to The Sun, the larger section was recently found again, supposedly at a police station. The lace is reportedly being tested by the CCRC.